Hey guys, um, here is the part two to my little planner update kind of series or whatever it's going to be. Um, in this one, I'm going to be showing a flip of my Filofax stone. And this is my main planner or my extension planner. This planner stays at home most of the time, but it is light enough to come with me if I need it. Um, it has my weekly plan, my weekly plans and pretty much everything I don't need on the go. Um, like my trackers and just like extra information. So you're going to notice that there is some overlap and that personally doesn't bother me. But when I explain my system and my methods of planning, you might understand why I need overlap. So, but this time I'm just going to show a flip. So this is my setup. I tried to keep it kind of minimal because during this these crazy times, I feel like the cleaner something is, the more I'm attracted to it. It just feels neat and organized when the world seems so disorganized and chaotic. So that's kind of why I went with this look. Um, in the front here, I have my inbox. And this is where I put tasks most of the time that don't need to get done right away because if they needed to get right done right away, more than likely I just do it right away. So these are those tasks that need to happen eventually, but not right now. But I did decide to prioritize them by now, later, and eventually. And eventually means really far in advance. Even the now is kind of still eventually, but it's more urgent than the other things if that makes any sense so the first section is the grind but i'm keeping all my kind of tasks related things in here so these are like next actions i guess you could say then i have my reoccurring tasks and these are really my monthly tasks so i have two sides to this and this is my planner kind of reoccurring tasks and this side is my kind of like general cleaning and random random reoccurring tasks. Then this is my day specific tasks. And these are really just weekly tasks. I don't cry if I don't get it done on the day that I've said. But I will say I feel so much more organized when I do actually follow this routine. But I'll get more into that when I talk about the way I plan and things like that. So then is my weeklies. My favorite weeklies, honestly, ever are these from 8 Lotus. Um, I stopped using them for a little bit when I was doing one planner, and that one planner was my A6. But I definitely have plans to go back and back plan whenever I get the chance. And um, I just love categorizing my tasks, but keeping them out of my like scheduled area. Because, you know, sometimes you just don't do things on the day you planned. And this kind of gets rid of that fear. I just keep things that are for sure going to happen on this side. And then just tasks to complete by the end of the week on this side. I think I usually divide it by planner related things, personal things, and work things, or maybe things to buy. Those are my usual go-to lists. But a new addition is actually these... Um, weeklies from the planner spot that I'm using to pre-plan right now um, again I said I feel way more organized when I've already thought ahead of time what days I want to get things done instead of keeping a huge list of things that need to get done and kind of panicking each day until they're all done I just know okay today is Monday I'm gonna focus on planning the week budgeting filling in my inserts, and doing a little bit of work-related tasks. So I already filled a lot of this out as last week was happening, and I thought in advance, and I'm going to finish doing that before I go to actually plan the week for real in these inserts with my stickers and everything. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Maybe one day I'll try to make this neater. Maybe I'll use my color coding system, or at least highlighters, because... Um, these inserts are too perfect to not make at least semi pretty. So then is my inspo AF section and it's really my project section section and my number one project right now or goal. Again, I'm going to explain goals and projects in another video. Um, this is my MCAT 
study tracker. So again, this is a this is an area that overlaps in my daily planner. I had my daily study tracker, and this is my kind of like ultimate study tracker, my progress tracker, I guess you could say. So as I go through each topic and master certain things, reading, the concept, questions, the summary, um, the discrete questions, and the videos, I check them off. By the way, I'm missing so many things. I didn't finish filling it out. But I love the idea because there's so many topics to cover of knowing how much of each topic that I went through. Once I go through all of these, I can consider myself to having mastered that topic. So then here's another one. This is a kind of a new section for me, so bear, you know, keep that in mind. Um, but this month I also decided to track the hours that I spend studying and I've color coded each um, subject. So math, physics, well, math and physics are one. Bio, biochem, chemistry, orgo, those all have different colors. And based on the tracker that I have in here, I will mark down how many hours I spent studying, just kind of as a motivator and to see how much time I'm really spending on this. And then the tracker that's in here can get thrown out without any, um, without any worries of forgetting what information is on there. It will all be in here, all in one insert, that I can look back on at the end of the year. So then is my other projects. This is a room makeover project that's really for the entire year. So I need to take this out. But these projects in here are supposed to really be projects that are actively happening this month is the cutoff. If it's a project that's gonna take me longer than a month, it's not gonna be in here. These are just things that need to happen within the month what steps they are required to complete, and then it's over with. So that's my spring cleaning, my paper archive, and my desk makeover. Those are all gonna be happening in April. So then is my goals, little top tab here from Sesavi. And here are my March goals. I didn't check off. I'm gonna be reviewing March very soon. So this is still in here. Then I'll have another list for April. And then my goal planning inserts. Again, these are going to be goals for this month only. Which goals from my list of 2020 goals am I going to be working on this month? What steps are required to achieve them? And that's that. That is my social section. This is a section I'm pretty proud of as well. I'm tracking my growth, which I can mark. Yay, I reached 500 something subscribers on YouTube and I'm not sure where I'm at in Instagram right now but I've been kind of slacking with posting because I've just been in and out of planners and I can't even keep track of my own self so oops so then I had this fold out and I struggled to figure out how I was going to use it at first but for this month I decided to use these little stickers to track the posts on Instagram and then I had every intention of writing in each little box um, just different ideas on what I would talk about in that month talk about post about video about and so on and so forth um, but be again because I've been in and out of planners didn't write that in yet and then for this side I'm marking I just try to do one video a week so I figured the 52 week tracker would be the perfect insert for to mark down which videos I actually post and that's great because I can tell you I haven't posted a video in this many weeks. This was the last video I posted, and this X is when I tried to post the Mulberry video. And I just use this little sticky note for what I'm planning on doing this week. And if I don't do it, I can always move it to the next week, and I love that. Little flags are the perfect way to plan if you're the type that doesn't like to write things in and cross it off. Um, or if you're like me and your plans change quite often. So this is another five category and this is the same way I'm using the study um, tracker that, you, that I showed you before. As I make progress on a certain topic, I check it off. Whether I filmed, edited, made the thumbnail, uploaded and promoted a video. And finally, I just have a checklist of different topics that people have requested me to go into detail about. So those will be future videos, I think. And then, yeah, that's just 
that's it. That is my wellness, and this is still in my, in, wait a minute. That's not right. This divider is supposed to be here. I don't know what happened. Um, but my wellness section is obviously health. So this is, again, um, health log. I'm thinking of moving this to my personal, to my everyday carry, too. Um, actually, instead, because this is the stuff that I would be talking to my doctor about. Um, please don't read that. <laughs> so that's my health log. I have my doctor's visits which probably needs to come out too. Again, this is so candid, you guys. I'm being real. I think my doctor's visits can come out because I don't think I need to have that in my extension. Then I have my body measurements. I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight before summer. Then I have this little pocket here. And this has my sequins and paper cards. My pounds loss tracker. My, si my um, size tracker. This is to remind me how to do my measurements and then lose it, my before measurements and my after measurements. Still got to fill those in. Um, I just got these. But my printer is working great now and I love printing things out. Ooh, I got a sneeze. <laughs> if you didn't say bless you, you're not my friend. Alright, there's a fake workout routine. If I ever get lost on what... Um, area I should focus on in a day um here it is the more frequently I assign things to certain days the more clear I feel and the less stressed out I am because I've already I've eliminated the thinking and I can just do right away if that makes sense then awesome so this is my period tracker I've well, always loved using this insert for period tracking because you can really see how regular you are. Um, my workout tracker, which I have a little t bottom tab to flip right to it. And I also have a bottom tab to flip right to my meal tracker. So I'm tracking my meals here and I'm tracking just like a little note about the day. So did I have coffee? Did I take a lot of naps? Did I feel good? How was my mood? Things like that. Things that could relate to my food intake. So then's my moolah section. And because I have a separate finance planner, this is really just an overview. So I have my finance routine. Because again, this is kind of like task tracking. My pay dates. My impulse control wish list. Which this is definitely coming out. My online orders. This is one is to keep track of all my online orders in the year, whereas I just have a sticky note reminding me in my daily planner what's coming up. Then is my whatevs section. This is just random lists. Not a lot because I'm not a huge permanent list keeper. Um, I don't know. I just don't. I like lists, but I don't know. I just don't keep them in my planner. So this is my obviously list of the New Testament books because I'm trying to read a lot of them this year and I also keep track of which um like which chapter wait that's not the word yeah I guess it is which chapter of a certain book I'm on like if there's a lot like Psalms for example then I have a TV series tracker, and since we're in the quarantine phase, I figured I'd be watching more TV and might want to keep track of that. Then just some extra inserts. Then in my list section, my color code, add to planner, this overlaps too, um, and some lists. And then my passwords, and a little pocket with stickers and just an important document so that was my extension planner setup pretty simple but it is obviously an extension if i had all this stuff in here this planner would be bursting at the seams way too heavy and unnecessary so this stuff can be safely say safe and sound oh my gosh i'm almost at 15 minutes so there's going to be a part three where i show my disc bound 
and hopefully my finance planner at the same time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in part three.